Hello, hello, this is Renverto and this is the HVAC to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about right soft heat load calculations, but specifically world library creation. All right, so let's get into it. So to begin with, uh, step number one, as we mentioned in the other videos, we need to make sure we have this HVAC tool shape box right here. Or if we don't have it, we can always go under drawings. And in the drawings, we're going to be able to see show HVAC shape shapes toolbox so we have that in here because in here we're going to be able to select rooms and everything else doors windows and ducts okay so we have that and then step number two we make sure that this grid system is correct okay so where do we go there so we have to go here to drawings and then grid settings under grid settings you can always leave it like 12 feet which is one foot each grid each grid system each one or you can always put it six i personally prefer number six you can try number one but it's it's not it's not very much recommended okay and then uh, number three you don't have to do to do this all the time but it's better just to be accurate or just to be neat so what we're going to do is we're going to organize my uh toolbars so you don't have to do, to do this all the time, but this is just so that way everyone can see how we do this. All right. So in this case, also, you're going to be able to see in the toolbars. You always have the option to go here and then to the view and then toolbars. Under toolbars, you can keep the main toolbar. That's very important. And if you want to see which one is the main toolbar, you uncheck and then you check that's the main toolbar we need that selector toolbar we don't actually need that for now okay so i'm just gonna uncheck it and we have write j we need that and just so it's there write d for duck design okay personally that's my preference so i would say main toolbar write j write d okay so we we have that and we can always drag these toolbars and then make it uh put it better like that there you go okay let's grab this we're gonna grab this we're dragging it okay and then we're just gonna put it on top of this like this like this all right so everything now is ready to 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 start so what we're gonna do is create the library why am i saying a library because if you're gonna create a room Let's create a room right here. So let's do this. It says a room. There we go. So this is going to be a bedroom. Let's put bedroom. Bedroom. So bedroom number one. There we go. So for a bedroom, you're going to be, you're going to have these options. So when you right click on the bedroom, you have the room, wall, ceiling, and floor. So for the room, you already know the properties. The room name is bedroom one, included in the calculations, yes. Zone name, entire house, heating condition, we're gonna put air only, air only, we're conditioning by air. Room type is not, not important, it's just there. You can leave it in order, room height nine, internal loads, we're gonna analyze this in the future. But for now, we're gonna put just one occupant. There, okay, number of occupants of one, and then the duck lead, duck lo, that heat loss factor that's gonna be for the future for duck design. Let's say that it's zero zero zero, so it's in a conditioned space. Let's just do check on this. If it's in the attic, you can put vented attic. The return in the attic, vented attic. But in this case, we're just taking into account conditioned. Okay, but the main purpose of this video is to talk about this wall. What are going to be my exposed walls in here? As you can see, we have four, a perimeter of four walls. What is the material on those walls? That's what we're going to do now. So for the walls, as you can see, it says wall type one. In wall type one, we're going to put in here, just click on it. And then this is the wall that you're going to be showing. Okay, so let's make this better. We're going to put this on the side like this. That's my bedroom. And then right click to, to bring the property sheet. And then we're going to see the rooms already taken care of. They are all good. Now we need to take care of the walls. So the exposed walls 
are, have a total area of 378. But what's the material? If you want to check the material, you go here. Right here, you click. And then this is going to open this uh, window that says Constructions for Project. As you can see, it says none. So you don't have any material for the walls. So in that case, what we're gonna do is create our own library. And once you create your own library, you're gonna be able to select any walls that you desire, okay? So how do we do that? How, are, how do we create our own library? So you go here to library. So library, click in there, go under constructions. So if you click under constructions, you're going to come up with this complete library of all your materials, ceiling, wall, doors, windows, okay? Now, what we want to do is create our own wall, so that way in the future, we don't do this anymore. So what we're gonna do is click in here that says new and there new you have options you can choose ceiling door floor glazing which is which are the windows and then wall so we're going to do the wall put a name so i'm going to put a name that this is going to be called exposed okay that's going to you can put wall number one wall number two what whichever but personally i'm going to put exposed because it's going to be exposed to the environment two by four Okay, because it's the frame and you can, as I, as I said, you can call it anything. R, let's start with R15 of insulation. So we're going to put in here, okay. Once you do that, you have options. In here, you, you have the name, as you can see, exposed 2x4 R15. It's just the name. We don't have the description because we haven't selected what kind of materials that does this wall have. So for that, you have options. You have three options. Do you want to do radio buttons, custom layers, custom values? Okay, but let's start with this. For the walls, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven options. So you can start with the frame and the frame, see the frame could be, for the frame, you have three options. Either do select your wall by radio buttons, by custom layers, or by custom values. Usually, this is the straightforward when you do the custom values. You just need the U value of the of the wall, and then you put for heating and cooling. That's all you need, and then extra information. See our value, and then. In this case, since we're doing a library, we're going to do the radio buttons to be more specific. So radio buttons, it's a frame. If you have the wall in the attic, you might want to do the new wall right here. If you have your wall below grade, which is which means the basement, you can put below grade, the basement. Okay, so, and, uh, so let's start with this. Or oh, if you have mansory, so... Uh, let's start with the frame. So my wall is going to be actually the frame exterior, vinyl. The sheeting is going to be 3 8 wood. Cavity insulation will be R15. Interior, interior finish, half inch of gypsum board. Okay. And then exterior board insulation. So in case you need more insulation than R15, if you have a mansion or you want to be more energy efficient, you can put R3, R5, whichever R3 is usually what it is. But let's put none in this case. We can make another library for the ones that have exterior insulation. You can put it in here, exterior exposed 2x4 R15 plus R3, you know, depends on the name that you want to you wanna put. Now for framing, you have options 2x4, 2x6, wood, wood, or it's metal. So I'm just going to put the more most popular 2x4. Start spacing, 16 OC, or sometimes if you put 2x6, 24 OC. So let's put 2x4 framing, start spacing, 16 OC. And then interior board insulation, you can always put, you know, R3 or if it's none. All right. All right. So that's going to be my selection. And then in here you have the results. As you can see, U nominal is going to be, this is going to be my U value CLTD group. 
that you're gonna be able to see a manual J8 code, 12D and 0SW. All of this is described in the manual J from ACA book, all right, from ACCA. But we can go into more specific detail in the future in other videos, okay? So uh, we're gonna put in here apply, and then we're all good. It's in here, as you can see. It's exposed 2x4, 15, and then you have its frame wall, vinyl exterior, 3x8. So you have the description, okay? And it, you can always put favorite in here. And if you put it in favorite, if you go to all, do favorite, and then this is going to be your main material, okay? Let's continue with this. Save changes under construction? Yes. There we go. Close. So anytime that you're going to have a bedroom, and then you right click, we took care of the room already, but now we're gonna take care of the wall. See, the room is already taken care of. Now the wall, let's go here, and then if, since we created the library, we're gonna go to exposed right here, see? It's it's there, In as you can see in here, it's exposed. Let's complete exposed, it's right here, exposed two by four uh, R15. There we go, and then we hit OK, and now we have this construction material. In future videos, we're going to continue with creating a ceiling and then a floor. And then after that, everything is going to be ready for this bedroom, all right? I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, hit the like button and subscribe. Don't forget to share and subscribe, all right? Thanks so much.